how many days to 28th May 43 days to go 43 days to go before the national exam the state exam the written one <sighs> Honestly guys, 42 days ago and I have no idea where the days have gone by. 42. Oh, 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. 42. Would you? Kum si kum sa. Kum si kum sa. So honestly, I think when you meet your friends after such a long time, after yeah. so many days, because we had our intern, like our um, clinical placement in, um, in like a nursing home, like an old age home. Mm. And when you see your friends after like two weeks, you have so much to chat about. Exactly. So you start talking a lot more and then you, and then, then you study. And that's yeah. very annoying, honestly, because now we're only 40 day, 42 yeah. days out, 42 bro. Days. 42 days out. It seems like yesterday we had like 100 days to go. Exactly. And now only 42 days to go, man. Oh, this is turning out to be pretty bad, man. Like much worse than I expected. Devesh, we have to step up, step up our game, man. 100%, 100%. This is not good, man. Oh, it's already 8 p.m. right now. Even though it's pretty uh, sunny outside. Spring, guys, is finally here, man. Oh, you know when the sun shines right on your face, that literally is the best blessing, the best feeling you can get here in Norway. So I haven't been hitting the gym the entire Ramadan, obviously, right? So I lost four kgs and obviously a lot of strength as well. So I need to make a really nice comeback. But right now, the question is, should I go home, have some food and do maybe a late night session? Well, that remains to be seen. So my over ambitious dream last night of um, cracking out a late night workout went straight down the drain and that stuff never happened came home basically had dinner and uh, actually did some studying as well uh, prepared for the course that we have today and uh, now i'm pretty much done and i was like okay now i just need to sleep and uh, i'll try to hit the gym tomorrow before my course because today we have a course in cpr in advanced cpr cardiopulmonary resuscitation but before that, I need to hit the gym. So right now it's around, um, it's around, what time is it? Around 11 a.m. and the course starts at 12. So I have exactly like 45 minutes to hit the gym. I'll do a very quick leg workout and that's gonna be quite painful. Okay, so I lost four kilograms in Ramadan and now I'm, now I weigh 72 kgs because I've already gained one kg back. Um, before Ramadan, I was 75. And then after Ramadan, I was 71. And now I'm at 72. So I'm trying to make a good comeback here. Uh, but the thing is that, man, like, I think around one week before Ramadan, I stopped training legs. So now I haven't trained my legs in exactly around five weeks. And when you don't do a leg workout for so long, then the first workout when you come back, that is pure torture like it's horrendous the pain is excruciating and um, so before ramadan i was squatting around i think 105 kilograms for seven to eight reps so let's see how much strength i have lost and uh, but honestly today i just take it quite slow and try to do around 80 to 90 kgs for as many reps as possible Let's see how that goes. Finished with the workout and honestly that was excruciating man. The pain was real, the lactic acid buildup was <laughs> even more real than like ever before. But uh, somehow I managed to survive and now I'm on my way to the CPR course. I've got work till 9pm. What is this life these days man? What is this life? Such so mechanical honestly. So freaking mechanical. Oh, this smells good. So your boy is actually on a cooking spree right now because I did not go to school today. 
um, as we did not really have any lectures or any courses so I thought I might as well study at home and honestly I don't regret going to university at all because I woke up I did some studying and then I hit the gym and now I'm on this cooking spree and I'm making Mughlai Handi Mughlai Handi if you're Pakistani if you're Indian or basically if you're brown then you know what I'm talking about because when made right this dish is an absolute banger and the first time I made this dish was actually in Ramadan and since then my family was like wow man Adam you have to make this like more often for us and hence hence here I'm starting today cooking some food uh, and when it comes to studying what's up 39 days to go or 38 maybe I don't know I, I lost count or something around that days to go and I have pretty much done all the past paper questions that were a bit available except for the 2023 the latest exam questions because i'm going to spare those till like one or two weeks before my written exam to really see to see and test where and how i stand um so i remember telling you guys in the last video that i was a bit worried that i was not really getting anything above 70 percent on the questions that i have been attempting on uh, and that was really annoying and worrying me but what I'm doing now is that since I'm done with all those past paper questions, I am going over all of them again, testing myself on all those questions all over again. And now I've done pretty much, I think, three exam sets again, and I scored easily 85% on all those three exams, which is honestly very satisfa sat satisfying. Um, and it's not because I, like, I'm not scoring high now because I remember all the questions or remember all the answers to those questions since I have done them previously but it's more because um, when getting all these questions wrong the first time I used to write down all the wrong answers and read up on the stuff which I was answering like wrongly right incorrectly uh, and now that I've read up on, the, on, the, on, the, on all that stuff even though I don't remember the questions or the answers I still am able to answer correctly because I have read up on that on those topics now so that is honestly uh, a bit like hap like making me a bit happy and less frustrating but it still remains to be seen whether or not I will be able to answer 80 plus 80 percent plus on the 2023 exam sets which I will do when the exam is right around the corner so keep following along the journey guys this is gonna be really fun honestly I am pumped up and so should you but should and so should you be. I guess that was the right sentence structure. Anyway, subscribe, please, it's free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace.